Yeah, hello everybody, welcome back again. We are still here at Laserline headquarters in Germany where we produce, manufacture, develop our diode lasers. And to give you a little bit of an overview, we have decided to do some videos. So hello to those joining us the first time. And as I said, welcome back to those who have watched some before. Today, we have decided not to necessarily only look on an application like we did in the past, but to look onto or into an industry. And we have chosen the automotive industry as this is maybe the widest range of applications that we have. We are doing so many different things. And now again, in a short video, I try to explain some of you, uh, some of the applications to you. That's the better way to put it. Um, let's start here with this cylinder hat. Um, this cylinder hat, first question is, where's the laser application? But uh, let me guide you a little bit. Here we have the outlet valves and here we have the inlet valve seats. Um, and what you can see here is a laser cladding. So there is a laser cladding on these valve seats. Why do we use laser cladding? The geometry of these valves is changed compared to past settings. And with this change of the geometry, we have a different flow of the oxygen, air, gasoline mix, and this helps to do a better efficiency. So we have a reduced gas consumption. The geometry is changed in a way here that we cannot put, or our customer cannot put the classic sintering to have a long life of the valve seat. So this was substituted with the laser cladding to allow the special geometry that they have designed for the fuel consumption. And only laser cladding was the solution to substitute this sintering. And so a very interesting application where many, many of our lasers already are used now over the world in the automotive industry. So cylinder head was one example for the automotive industry, but um, as I mentioned in the, in the opening, it's so wide. And uh, let's kick off with, with some more applications in the sheet metal. So this is a test sample that we did in our application lab and it's a test sample for the roof part to the side part of a car. And here it's a classic brazing application. You need a copper silicone wire. You join the, the parts by melting the wire and after re-solidification you have a joint of the parts. Then the automotive industry changed from uh, galvanized steel to hot dipped steel. So the hot dipping is the thicker, has more issues and we needed to overcome some problems where here at the side we had um, so-called edge notches, we had porosities and what we had to do is we changed the spot size. So from a classic round spot we moved ahead to what we call a triple spot. Yeah? Maybe in this camera we can see this a little bit better. So we have a main spot and we have two additional spots that run up front the application, clean the zinc and have a much better setting. So a little bit deeper explanation for such a triple spot. I call it Mickey Mouse spot sometimes. Not everybody loves it, but it's very obvious, I think. Here is the main spot to do the brazing and here are the two spots running up front the application to clean the zinc. What you can also see from the setting is we have different power levels in the left and in the right. So we can determine which gets a little bit more power, where do we need a little bit more of the cleaning before the main spot is doing the bracing. Um, very interesting application. And here, just as a quick showing is such a multi-spot module. It's going into the beam path. It's controlled by the robot. We can change the power in the front spots, the size of the main spot, the distance of the spots and have a very flexible tool. And honestly and proudly, I can say nobody else can do that in this application. The same spot, no, that's wrong. The same module was also used to do something that we call spot and spot. And so a spot and spot would look like this. We have a center spot with high power and a surrounding spot to smoothen the weld pool after my resolidification, during my resolidification. What does that mean? When we do something like this, we can create a smoother surface. Here is another example, automotive, very obvious, it's a door. And here we have a laser welding. And this laser welding, always we show this with little, this little mark, is done with spot and spot. And when we try to look at it with a little closer look, we see it's a wonderful surface directly going into painting, doesn't need a rework, no spatters, no porosity. And a lot of people can even save the wire. So typically aluminum is welded with the wire and the wire has a lot of cost 
and this cost of the wire can be saved. So switching gears, moving away from the very obvious parts in the automotive like the cylinder head or the car body parts, let's look at something else. What's that? That's part of a camshaft. So the camshafts that are pressing the valves in the cylinder head and creating the, the cycle. So some of the cylinders today are switched off if the car is moving very silently without big accelerations, big brakes, and where sometimes it is very reasonable to just run the car with two cylinders instead of four. So here is a mechanism, a mechanical setting where this camshaft can be shifted, can be moved. And some of the cams are no longer pressing the valves. The valves are not opening up to the cylinder head, to the burning chamber. There is no fuel going into it. It's not burning the cylinder switched off. And this mechanism and the cams are laser hardened. Otherwise, they can't survive these quick actions in the motor. So the laser hardening is here the enabling technology for this setup. Another application is polymer welding. Plastic welding, as some others say. So here is an example of something like this. It's two plastic parts onto a possibly electrical sensor, electrical switch, can be various things. And uh, here we are doing polymer welding. So the laser is firing through one part into the second. The second is heating up, transferring the heat to the upper, which is transparent for the laser. And then under a certain pressure, these two materials join together. So here is another application, a battery. Just through the top, we are mel melting the lower material, the black one. The white one is transparent. We can also have black transparent for the laser. And then the heat is transferred from the lower to the upper under pressure. They are joined together. The same principle. So here another application to look at is the seat rail. It's another welding application, but yeah, maybe sheet metal as well. But here we are mounting several parts onto the rail. And as you can easily imagine, this is a safety component. I mean, I would be happy if I break, my airbag is opening if in an accident, and my seat rail is still sitting where it should be, and my seat is not going through the front window. So it's a very important part, and the weldings that are done here, they are all controlled, they are monitored during the welding applications, and there is here several welds that we do, and this is a scanner weld. So we have here one set of these parts sitting, there's a scanner here and the scanner is moving and reaching different positions. Here we have a twist and turn and afterwards the whole part is ready in one setup. So one other application that's maybe not so obvious for people who are not, oops, how do we hold it, uh, that are not so familiar. This is a tailored blank. What does it mean tailored blank? So it is a blank, a sheet metal that's really tailor made for a specific automotive application. Here we have joined a thicker part to a thinner part. And the welding is done by laser. You see all the welding line here. And after the weld, these parts go into the punching press. And the laser welding is strong enough to go through the press, has no um, defects created through the pressing, and the part is exactly tailor-made for its purpose. So if we talk about a door, it's thicker, like on this side, where it's put on the, on the car body, and it's thinner on this side, where it's more or less holding the paint and making sure that you're not getting wet, but has no specific other task. So you can save weight. Saving weight, automotive industry, is saving fuel. And it's something we are very interested in. So tailored blanks is another big application where our lasers are used. Many, many long meters of applications are done. Let me close with the latest application that's coming up. Fuel reduction is the big keyword. And if we look at this, we talk about hybrid vehicles. We talk about electrical vehicles. And then everybody has heard the e-mobility keyword, the buzzword e-mobility, and that's copper welding. Copper welding, maybe it's worth a full video in the near future. Just as a quick remark, we have specifically developed a laser for this. It's a blue laser, so the radiation is blue, it's visible helps to do spatter-free welds, helps to have a nice absorption into the copper. Yeah, maybe I keep this as a little cliffhanger for the future videos. So join us again. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Hello from our headquarters in Germany. Keep LaserLine in your mind and see you soon. Thank you.